I'm doing a test run. See if this will work. So I thought to test this out, I might as well introduce you to my zoo. I hope you are all safe and well with your families. It has been a crazy day, added on to a crazy week. So know you are in my thoughts and hopes that everything is fine and that we're going to get through this the best that we can, okay? So um, let's introduce you to the zoo. All right. If you are one of my students, you already know Sinbad. Can you say hello? No, go this way. Say hello. Hello. No, not going to perform. Sinbad is a lilac crowned Amazon, and he's a spoiled brat. He thinks he's one of my limbs. Huh. But we love him to pieces. Okay, we're going to put Sinbad back for a minute. Are you ready, Katie? Yeah. Okay, my daughter's gonna bring in our two budgies. English budgies are like a parakeet, but um, they get bigger than a parakeet. So they look exactly like a parakeet, but larger. So here we go. Just a minute. Hi. Sorry, one of them got away. That's okay. So these are the budgies. Tell them their names. Uh, Maisie and Grace. Maisie is this one, the blue one with the bill. This is Maisie. Oh, can I go over there? Yeah, because I was pointing. <laughs> and this is Grace. And they are a mating pair. We just recently got them. And we're hoping to end up with some babies. Yeah. Huh. Say hi now. <laughs> Thank you, Kate. Bye-bye. Mm Bye-bye. -hmm. Hold on, because I'm going to get my tarantula out in a minute. Okay. Now, Peanut, step up. Hi, buddy. Mm -hmm. Can I have a kiss? You guys have heard me talk about Dante. This is Dante. Climb up on my shoulder. There you go. Up, 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 up. Now he's going to make a mess all over me with the peanut. Dante is a green-winged macaw. And we found out that macaws are really good earthquake detectors this morning. And that he hates them. So it was a little chaotic this morning. Um, the first one, he uh, had an anxiety attack for lack of a better description and ended up on the bottom of his cage. So we've been giving him lots of love, making sure that his cage door is open today. The second one, he didn't like much better. So we've just been doing our best to love him. Hi, huh, buddy. Huh. Yeah. I scratch you. No, nope, not right now. I'm eating a peanut. Don't scratch me. I'm eating a peanut. And this is what happens when you hold him a claw eating a peanut. Isn't he beautiful? Huh. Yeah. I love you. I love you. We'll let him finish his peanut. Then I'll put him back on his cage. We'll get the next animal. You ready? Step up. Good boy. Okay. The next one is Hopi. Hopi. <laughs> and there goes Hopi. <laughs> Hopi, are you going to come back? Are you going to come back? Come here. Come here, step up. You're okay. No, 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 don't fly back. Stay on my finger. You're okay. Hopi is a starling. I found her two years ago this May. She had just fallen out of a nest. She was nothing but a bald little ugly body and a great big, huge yellow mouth. 
I didn't think she was going to make it 24 hours. That's where she got her name, Hope. She's headed back to her cage. And uh, she's incredibly intelligent. She uh, talks more than both my parents. Her vocabulary is larger than my two parents. Um, this was the best place for me to teach from. Forgive my daughter's dresser in the background with Captain America. Okay. You have met. All the birds. Let's introduce you to the geckos. This one is Skittles. Skittles is a leopard-tailed gecko. They come out of the Middle East. All of my birds, but or all of my animals, all of my animals, but my tarantula are all rescues. Um, even my tarantula we bought was kind of a rescue because the pet store was sad. And anyway, we have no ideas how old Skittles is. Um, she's, she's, we figure she's getting pretty old. Um, by the way she moves, things that she's starting to do. We've had her four or five years, I think. It's been a long time, huh, Skittles? They are so sweet. They are so calm and they're really docile. Right now she's looking for a warm place to cuddle up. Huh? Yeah. Okay, so this one is Skittles. And this one is Reese Pieces. He is just a full leopard gecko. Sorry, the sunlight's kind of blocking things. He's been shedding a little bit. They shed a lot. These tails can actually come off as a defense mechanism. Thank goodness we've never seen that happen. I think that would bother me. Again, these geckos, they're, they're amazing. They're really, uh, they're easy to clean. They're easy to maintain. They're very mellow. They're just sweeties. They like to cuddle. Hi, oh, guys. You're both looking backwards. Say hi to my students. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Okay, now we're going to introduce you to the hamster. You guys ready to go back? They don't all live in this room. We just brought them in here. All right. Okay. Come here, chubby butt. Sorry, did I wake you up? This is our teddy bear hamster. His name is Cinder. His little eyes look like Ash, little Cinder Ash, but mostly he gets called a uh, big boy because He's such a big boy. Huh. You say hi? Say hi to everybody. <laughs> and he's really sweet too. You don't have to chase him very far. Okay. And I think that's everybody but my tarantula. You wanna see my tarantula? My tarantula is a rose hair tarantula. Her name is Rose, I know, so original. Um, let me get her just a minute. So this is Rose. Can you say hi? You say hi to everybody. Oh, can't get it that close. There we go. Say hi. Rose was five years old in October. When we got her, she was missing one of these front little legs. Um, but she's molted twice. And 
each time that she's molted, it's come in and it's gotten larger. So she's really sweet. When she molts this little tiny thing right here, this little flat piece right here pops off. And then basically everything inside slides out like this, lays next to her. And then it looks like there's a second tarantula in there. And this little wet thing lays there for a day or two and then it dries out and starts walking around. It's really cool. Rose is incredibly docile. I have taken her to um, classrooms of like fourth graders. I uh, can't remember, I think the other one was third grade. Had them put their hands out and walk. <laughs> walk across hey, all of the students' hands. This is my daughter, Caitlin, and walk all over the students' hands in the classroom. We've never had a problem with her. Um, the only time I've even seen her rear up is when a girl tried to hold her who had snakes. So I think that maybe she got that smell, didn't like it. So she's always been amazing. To protect herself, Rose has little tiny hairs right here on the back of her abdomen that she will shoot off. Um, I never know that I've been shot until later, like my face will start itching and I'm like, oh no, why well, I had Rose out, she got scared and she shot me. So I just take an allergy med and I'm fine. Oh my gosh, you heard their tickles. <laughs> Come on Rosie, you wanna walk? Huh? You wanna walk? Thank you. Oh, no, I've you. watched those, uh, Will you take the geckos back, please? They're a little cold. I've uh, watched those shows where they're like putting tarantulas on their face and on their heads and everybody's like, it's such a big deal. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you guys are a bunch of wusses. So anyway, this is Rosie. She's the last of our critters. So we have our own little mini zoo. Thought it would just be fun to get on, test the video, make sure it works. See how much of my house you can see. <laughs> Make sure it's okay. And give you guys something, maybe a little cheery to get your minds on today. Um, off of everything else that's been going on. And uh, just say hi. I hope you're all doing good. Um, you can always get me during school hours on Google Chat just, um, or go, Google Hangouts, just go to my name and click it and just be like, hello. And it'll pop up a little screen as long as I'm in my uh, mail tab. If I'm out of my mail tab working on like an assignment or something, I don't see it immediately. But when I pop back into my mail tab, hey, where are you headed? If I pop back into my mail tab, I'll see it, it'll pop up and then we can just chat back and forth or you can hit that video button right there. And that's how you can video with me. So if you have signed up to do like one-on-one -on -one time, that's how we'll be doing it. I'll uh, pull up your name through Google Hangouts, um, get you there, and then hit the video and send you an invite to join. So we can just <laughs> chat one-on-one. Um, -on -one. So um, still getting through the emails. There's a lot, a lot of emails at the moment. Um, uh, so bear with me as I'm getting through all of them and getting back to you tomorrow. We will start the videos in the morning or the, sorry, excuse me, the conferences in the morning. If you haven't signed up for a spot, you do it exactly the way that you would sign up for a parent teacher conference. Just go under where it says distance learning and pick a spot and a time slot and during that time slot, I will get on the Google Hangout. I will say hello when you respond. I will hit the video and we can chat that way. And then tomorrow afternoon, we will start live videos like this where um, I will teach a brief lesson. And then in Canvas, there will be an assignment to go along with the brief lesson that I have taught. Um, and then if you have any questions, let me know. Um, I am not... Seen. I can see that people are popping on and off, but I'm not seeing any messages. Could somebody, could whoever's on here try to send me a message so I can see if it pops up?
I am not seeing any messages. Okay, I'm going to have to figure out how to make sure I can see the messages. Um, I will figure that out. Okay. I hope you guys have a good night and a good rest of your day. Hang in there. You're in my thoughts. And reach out if there's any help I can give you. Um, like... I said either through Google Hangouts, um, email, or we can video conference through Google Hangouts. If you sign up for a slot using the mode of signing up for a parent teacher conference, only do it under distance learning. And then when it's your time, I will send a message to you, make sure you're there, then hit the video and we will live stream that way. All right. I hope you guys have a great night and I'll see y'all later. Bye. As I try to hang this up. <laughs> Mama. Yeah. I have something for you.